Welcome to my Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Field Skill Tutorial. Today we're just going to be talking about all the, you know, crucial things that you'll need to know to use field skills in this game. And I hope y'all are ready to get some knowledge in those little noggins of yours. Get ready. Okay, so first things first, you're going to want to know why are field skills back in Xenoblade Chronicles 3? And the simple answer is, as we saw with the initial trailer, Dude, Uriah's back. So, and if you remember, Uriah was where you were kind of introduced to field skills and you use them the most. So, obviously, if we're going to the same area, we're gonna need to use field skills to get around that area when it was so prevalent before. So, you know, first things first, I'll just hop down to this, um, to this field skill spot and show you how to use it. So, first instinct is whenever you first see this, just like in Xenoblade Chronicles 2, you're gonna be like, dude, what is this? Let me, let me try it out. And you try it out and you're like, what? I can't, I can't use this. So then you, then you're just like, you're freaking out, but then don't worry, don't worry. Just like in Xenoblade 2, you have the blade you need. So just hop into your blade exchange menu and then change out your blade to who you need it to be. So after I switch to them, I'm good. I close out the menu and then we're good to go. So as you can see, I now dive under the water and typically with field skills, there's some treasure at the other side. You know, I'm simply goaded and built different, so I already got the treasure, but you know, as usual, that's just how it is sometimes. So this is a really good spot for going back and forth. Like some field skill spots will just like send you off in some direction and you can't like repeat it. But right here, you can just repeat it over and over again, which as you heard me say before, it's a really good thing to do for training. So. Just remember, quick overview, make sure you have the right blades equipped, and make sure to like merge consciences with your characters whenever you can, because sometimes they gain like unique field, field skills because of that. And that is the end of the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 field skill tutorial. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. I spent a lot of effort into researching this one. I had to go through the entirety of like a new Uriah, which was kind of like crazy to do, but you know, I had to get this video out for y'all and I'll see y'all in the next one. It'll be faster than this one came out. That's for diggity dang sure, my home dogs.